Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you how to make money online as a work from home freelancer. So Christmas is coming fast and it's my favorite time of year. It's also the time of year where people spend a lot of money on games and activities to enjoy with friends and family. So I want to teach you how you can use ChatGPT to generate content for best-selling digital products on platforms like Etsy. I experimented with a few of these ideas last year, and I'm still making sales from the Christmas printables I created last December. I'm going to show you some of my stats from one of my Etsy shops. I have two Etsy shops. You can see on this Etsy shop, I've had over 3,700 orders, and these are all digital one-page printables and I've earned over 14,000 US dollars from these printables. Now I only have 31 printables in my shop and it probably took me a half an hour to an hour to make each printable. So for only around 30 hours or less of work, I have earned over $14,000. And I'm sure that if I put more effort into my shop, this number would be much larger. And now that we have ChatGPT and different AI tools like it, it is easier than ever to generate content for these printables. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk you through how to do keyword research. So you'll create printables in niches that are not super competitive. I'm also going to show you exactly how to create a printable using Canva completely for free. And I'm going to show you the best prompts to use in ChatGPT to generate the content that you can use in these printables. If you click on the link in the description below, you can see my full playlist on how to set up a shop with Etsy, how to add a digital listing, but in today's video, we're focusing on creating Christmas or seasonal printables using ChatGPT. So now is the time to get on this. If you look right here, this is a shop and this woman has created 10 different pages. It's so simple. She's just created a Christmas background with a border, a couple little graphics, and the rest of it is just content. She is selling these for over five euro per printable and over 41 people have purchased this in the last 24 hours. So she has made over 200 euro in one day selling these printables. And all of this is so easy to do yourself with ChatGPT. Here is another example. And this one is just a one page printable and she's selling this for $3 and it just contains 15 Christmas movie trivia questions. There are so many other printables just like this, and these people are making so much money. Now you might think this is super competitive. There are so many different printables on Etsy. Now this is true. However, year after year, people come on Etsy searching to buy printables. Now, if you are purchasing a printable the next year, I wanna order one of these because I bought that last year. You want something new, especially if you want your game to be original and you don't want to do the same Christmas movie trivia every year. And I'm going to show you how we can do some keyword research. So we're going to target long tail keywords and not just something like Christmas printable, but maybe Christmas movie trivia for kids under six years old or Christian Christmas movie trivia or something that's more specific. So when people are typing in these keywords, your listing is going to pop up instead of these generic listings. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use the free version of ChatGPT, even though I have the pro version. First, we're going to do some keyword research. Now, most people would type in something like this. Give me a list of long tail keywords for digital products related to Christmas. And ChatGPT would give you a standard list such as this. And this is fine. However, there is a better way to get ChatGPT to organize these keywords for you based on difficulty and product type. So we're going to use the following prompt. Please ignore all previous instructions. Please respond only in the English language. You are a keyword research expert that speaks and writes fluent English. I want you to generate a list of 100 long tail keywords for Christmas printables. Please create a markdown table with three columns, keyword difficulty and category. The first column should be the keyword you generated. The second column should be the estimated difficulty of ranking for each keyword. The third category will categorize the keyword by product type, planner, craft, game, etc. Do not repeat yourself. Do not self-reference. And you can see that ChatGPT has created this amazing list in this table that we can copy with the keywords organized by difficulty and category. And this will give you so many different ideas for the types of printables that we can create. 
So now I'm going to show you how we can use ChatGPT to come up with the content for these printables. This person is selling this printable for over three euro. You can see here that seven people have it in their carts. It's a popular printable. They just have 15 different movie quotes pasted into this Christmas template. And it's a game where people would have to guess what movie is it. So to generate something like this, I've come up with this awesome prompt we're going to use. I am creating a Christmas movie trivia game. I want three quotes from each Christmas movie. Please create a markdown table with four columns. Christmas movie, quote one, quote two, and quote three. Include 20 popular Christmas movies and three quotes per movie. Do not repeat yourself. Do not self-reference. You could say 20 popular kids movies, for example, or adults movies or recent Christmas movies, depending on what type of quiz you want to create. You can use this same template if you want to do a Christmas music or Christmas song trivia. And using this exact prompt is awesome because it is generating the list perfectly so you can choose whatever quote you want to use from each movie. And that way you can make your Christmas movie trivia a beginner's trivia, an advanced trivia. You could even ask ChatGPT to organize these by difficulty, quote one, easy, quote two, intermediate, quote three, advanced, and make a different quiz, one for kids, one for adults. But this is the perfect prompt to use and you can use this for any type of printable. Maybe that's finish this song to come up with 20 Christmas songs and add a different verse per column. You can see here, this is a Christmas game, finish the lyrics. So now that we have all this content, we're going to create a printable with it. And to do that, we're going to use Canva. And you only need the free version of Canva to do this. So log into your free Canva account. You can join Canva by clicking on the link in the description below. Then you're going to click here on create a design, click on custom size, and the standard size for a printable is 8.5 inches wide by 11 inches. Then just click create new design. And you can click here on Christmas to see different Christmas templates. You can see a lot of these are pro. So if you have a pro account, you can use one of these. If not, you can kind of scroll down and you'll see a few free ones. This one, for example, is free. This one is also free. So let's say we'll click on this one here. And you can change the background by just clicking on the background and choose whatever color you want. So let's zoom up. You can adjust any of these little elements and adjust the positioning and the size. So we're going to try to make a movie printable similar to this one, a Christmas movie trivia printable. Let's give this a title for when we're printing this, for when we're going to list it on Etsy. So Christmas movie trivia for kids. Now click here on text then click add a heading. Let's type in Christmas movie trivia, control plus A to highlight the text. And you can change this to the font of your choice. I'm going to choose apricots. You can adjust the size and the positioning of the text as well. Let's just center it here. You can also adjust the color of the text by clicking on text color. Now let's click on elements and we're going to type in rectangle and just click this rectangle add a shape. So what I want to do is make a new line for each quote, for each movie quote. So I'm going to change this color to red to match the background and then click here on text color and change that to white. And then I'm going to put one to make a list. And I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT and choose whatever quote I want. So I'm gonna choose this one. This is my house, I have to defend it from home alone. Go back to the movie trivia, control V to paste. And then what we can do is press control A to highlight and change this to whatever font you want. Probably we want an easy to read font. So let's just go with the standard Canva font and then adjust this size let's say to 20 and make it nice and bold. So this would be the first quote in our game. So now all you have to do is click on this text box, control plus C to copy, control V to paste, and we can repeat this with our next one, 
So let's just backspace number two. And you'll just go back to ChatGPT, copy whatever quote you want, come back to your movie trivia template and paste it in one of these boxes. Now, I was only able to fit eight in here, but you could click and delete some of these elements if you wanted to add some more or make this smaller. You can also change up the template, make it a little more custom by going over to elements, typing movie, for example, and you can see some of these cute little graphics you could use and add them so it looks a little bit more special, more like a movie trivia quiz, add this little movie icon or whatever you want. And then you could also click here on duplicate page and provide an answer key and just change all of these to the answers. So the first one you would put in Home Alone, number two, A Christmas Story, and that way you have an answer key as well as the movie printable. And when you're done, to save the printable so that it's ready to list on the platform such as Etsy, click Share, Download, and you're going to download this as a PDF standard file. Click on Flatten PDF. That makes it easier for everyone to print regardless of their computer and click download. So just like that, you can see we've created this beautiful Christmas printable that we are ready to sell on a platform like Etsy. Here's another example of one I created and you can scroll down and see here I also have the answer key. Again, you can fit in as many as you want. You would just click on the text, click here on spacing and you can reduce the spacing so you can fit more or just make it a little bit wider like this. So I encourage you guys to get creative, use some of my prompts to come up with some keyword research and also create content for printables. Now is the time to get creating these printables and experiment with platforms like Etsy because people are searching for these. I am selling a lot of my Christmas printables that I just did as an experiment last year. And now it's easier than ever to create them. Make sure to check out my full playlist in the description below on how to get started creating on Etsy. And I wish you all a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas.